That's my two blades. So we need to put them on here. I seem to remember. So I'll put a link to Science Toy Makers. Um, actually, it was a helicopter he was making. But I'll put a link to his video in my video description. But I think I've got a slit in there, put that over and then probably tape it in place as well. At the moment that's super glued in place. I put the glue on the plastic, I slid it into the slot because I split this cutting it that way with a knife and then squeezed it tight to set the glue with my pliers. And surprisingly enough, that actually seems to be balanced pretty well as well. So, that goes through there. Then we need to put a bead on it. So I don't know if that little bead will go over it. If it does, that'll be fine. does fit. Oh well, that's good. So that's going to go through there. And then I'll bend this up at right angles so it goes along the shaft and either tape it or glue it in place. And then that will be our propeller. But I need to Looks like I need to hot glue that on there because the super glue doesn't stick to the plastic. I might reinforce these with a little bit of sticky tape as well to hold them in place. I've reinforced the join there with hot glue. I've also hot glued a little bit of a paper clip on the end there to give us a hook for the rubber band. I've just put a couple of rubber bands on there so I can test it. I think they're actually silicon rubber bands there, so they're not going to be as good as a proper rubber band. But that seems to be working. So we need to cut out some wings, glue them on top, cut out the tail, and then try and sort out some sort of centre of gravity. Uh, these are the plates. I'll just cut round the outside edge so that we've got the flat bit in the middle, or as flat as it can be. Ooh, just a thought. thinking of leaving the edge to give us um, tips, wing tips. Uh, no, I'll carry on. I can always glue some wing tips on if I want to try and make the wings uh, longer, wingspan. on this one are about 60 millimeters wide and I've got a fold up the middle well it's not up the middle it's 
20 back from the front, so that's a third of the way. 60 all together, and then 20 back from the front, we've got a fold to give us the airfoil shape. And then the span, that's 150, and the reason it's 150 is that was as much as I could get out of a single plate. So that's what I'll do. I'll cut this up just straight like that and then we'll glue it on top. <laughs> 